Hmm, that's weird. Um, things look a little different today. Oh, no. <laughs> Never mind. Hi, everybody. My name is Waddles. Welcome back. Today, I'll be looking at all of the enchantments that you can get on your axe in Minecraft. So that means this is just like my other guide videos. If you've seen them before, you know what we're doing. If you haven't, we're going to go over all of the enchantments and then I'll talk about the axe that I try to get my hands on in survival. If you enjoy the video, leave a like and consider subscribing. There's also a playlist that'll be on the end slide and down in the description to all the other guide videos. So let's start off with sharpness. Now, uh, this is an interesting thing. For the longest time, and still to this very day, forget that we can put sharpness, might, and bane of arthropods on your axe. You can use your axe as a tool for fighting, and it is actually quite effective. So, of course, starting off with sharpness, sharpness increases the damage that your weapon will do to things. There are five different levels of sharpness, one through five, of course, and each level will increase the amount of damage that your tool is going to do to things. Next up, we have smite, which increases the damage that your weapon, so your axe, does to undead mobs. Now, undead mobs are zombies, skeletons, that type of thing. Uh, there are five different levels of smite, one through five. Now, finally, in terms of combat, we have Bane of Arthropods. Bane of Arthropods increases the damage that your weapon, or the axe, will do to arthropods. So that means spiders, silverfish. The arthropods are a very small group, but they are a group in the game. Now, again, there are five levels to the Bane of Arthropods. All of these enchantments are mutually exclusive, meaning you're going to have to pick one. You can't have Sharpness 2 and then Smite 4 or something like that. It's Sharpness, Smite, or the Bane of Arthropods enchantment. So that's a thing. I don't usually actually put those on my axe, and if you want these enchantments on your axe, you're going to need to do so with a book. You cannot get these enchantments on an axe naturally through an enchantment table, but again, they can go on your axe. So moving on from the combat-related enchantments over to Mending. Mending is an enchantment that has appeared in each and every guide video so far. Uh, it's absolutely wonderful. Mending takes XP and puts it towards your tool's health. That means if your axe has a little bit of damage on it, but it has the Mending enchantment, every time you kill a mob or do something that gets you XP and that axe is in your hand, the XP goes to fixing up your axe. When your axe is at full, perfect durability, the XP goes to your level as normal. The Curse of Vanishing is quite evil. If you have the Curse of Vanishing on your axe, unfortunately, and you die with it, the axe is gone. It will vanish upon death. You cannot get it back. So if this is on your best axe ever, don't die with your best axe ever. <laughs> You'll be sad. <laughs> So, those two are the treasure enchantments. There's a treasure enchantment guide video if you're looking for more information on treasure enchantments, but those two enchantments are also things that you cannot get from an enchanting table. You're going to need to either find a mending villager or maybe search the end for a curse of vanishing axe. Now, these next four enchantments are what I'm going to call, I guess, your normal axe enchantments. These are sort of the straightforward axe enchantments that I always think about and I always work towards getting, uh, unlike all of the other ones that I've shown so far, which are nice, but not ones that I usually go for on an axe. It's all personal opinion, though. So, first up, we have Unbreaking. Unbreaking is insanely useful, it's absolutely wonderful, and it can go on almost everything in the game. Unbreaking basically increases how long your thing is going to last. So if you have Unbreaking on your axe and you use your axe to cut a piece of wood, that axe would have the chance of using up zero durability. There are three different levels to the Unbreaking enchantment, one, two, and three, and each level increases the chance that your tool won't take any durability damage when using it. According to the Minecraft Wiki, if you had Unbreaking 3 on your axe, that axe is likely to last four times as long as it normally would. Next up, we have Efficiency, which increases the speed at which your axe will chop down wood. Now, this is a wonderful enchantment, and this is definitely one that I can show off for you. I could certainly do a timer for this bit, but the difference is pretty noticeable. Right here, we have some wood with a diamond axe. No enchantments or anything. Then we have the same stack of wood, but this time we have an Efficiency 5 axe, and the stuff breaks almost instantly. With Efficiency 5, or any form of Efficiency on your axe, cutting down a forest or just farming up tons of wood is gonna be a whole lot faster. 
Efficiency is absolutely wonderful to get on your axe, and it really just increases the usefulness of that axe, especially if you pair efficiency with unbreaking. If you do end up having efficiency and unbreaking on your axe, then you, my friend, have an absolutely wonderful working axe. And finally, we have Silk Touch and Fortune. We'll start off with, um, hmm, let's start with Silk Touch. When your tool has Silk Touch on it and you break something that would normally break, like let's say ice or something, you will actually get the block. So let's say I have Silk Touch on my axe and I'm trying to break glass. Usually, if I break glass without that axe, it would just break and it's gone. But when I have Silk Touch on my axe, I get the glass back. Now, the same thing will happen for tons and tons of other blocks. If you have Silk Touch on your axe and you break leaves, you will get leaves. If you have Silk Touch on your axe and you break ice, you will get ice. If you had Silk Touch on your axe and you broke a melon, you will get a melon. And now, Fortune, which is mutually exclusive with Silk Touch, meaning you can't have both, and that's pretty straightforward. That's because Fortune increases the amount of things you're going to get when breaking something. Now, the Minecraft Wiki has a wonderful little table that I have on the screen right now that definitely explains Fortune a whole lot better than I can. As you can see, with Fortune, items have a higher chance of dropping, and you can also get more items that drop from whatever you're breaking. So in terms of a pickaxe, something different, if you mined up coal without fortune, usually you'd get one coal. If you mined it with fortune, maybe you get two or three coal. That same effect would be pretty much the same for the ax as well. There are three separate levels of fortune, fortune one, two, and three. So some final things to note and some final things to know about these ax enchantments. Again, sharpness, might, and bane of arthropods are all mutually exclusive. You need to pick one. Also, Silk Touch and Fortune are mutually exclusive. You can only have one or the other. Now, the axe that I usually work towards in survival is right down here. All I like to try and get on my axe in survival is Unbreaking 3, Efficiency 5, and Fortune 3. I really don't use my axe for any type of combat, so I don't even worry about ever putting Sharpness, Smite, or Bane of Arthropods on it. It's just not that useful to me. I also don't usually try and get mending on my axe unless I have a mending villager or tons of mending books. Usually, I use the axe quite a bit, but not really enough necessarily to need mending on my axe. But of course, again, if you had extra mending books, I definitely recommend using those books up and putting one on your axe because uh, mending always helps everything. So that's the axe enchantment god. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If I messed anything up or missed anything, go tell me about it down below. And what guide do you want to see next? If you liked the video, leave a like and consider subscribing. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Waddles. The guide playlist will be on the end slide in just a few moments. Check that out if you're trying to learn about the game. And uh, go have a good day. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time. Goodbye, everybody.